morning, TKA. I'm Lindsay Richardson. And I'm Bailey Durkin. And, and you're watching King's TV. Are you struggling in a class or just want to understand a subject better? Well, the after school tutoring program is a great chance for you to improve your grades. It begins next week on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15 in the library. Along with peer tutoring, the King's Academy offers many unique courses to prepare you for your future education. Let's send over to Bree to discuss the amazing programs of distinction this school has to offer. Good morning, TK. I'm Bree Taylor reporting on behalf of TK News. As you may know, King's offers a numerous amount of fun-filled elective classes. But do our staff and students want more? I interviewed our very own staff to see what they're most excited about being part of this year. So what's your name? My name is Ms. Han. And what do you teach? I teach computer science. So we have some classes that focus on programming, some that focus on web design. My favorite part is actually how creative my students are. It's incredibly fun to see them like come in with an idea and actually implement that idea. And um, they far surpass, I'm sorry, far surpass my, uh, my expectations every single time. Hi, my name is Dr. Hoffman. I am the academic counselor for the 10th through 12th grade students. So what new elective classes do you think the students would benefit from? I really have a passion for marriage and family classes, and I feel they are so important for students because it's really helpful to know how to pick a spouse and how to be a good partner in a marriage before you actually enter the marriage. So I think that is a very important class, um, as well as teaching parenting skills. Those are some great answers, and I'm ecstatic to see what the future holds here at the Lion's Den. I'm Bree Taylor reporting for TK News. Now back to the anchors. Wow, it's crazy how many awesome opportunities we have here on campus. Right? Another cool opportunity we have coming up is the See You at the Pole prayer event. Students and faculty will gather around the flagpole on September 25th to lift up the world in prayer. Not only is our education and spiritual life on campus thriving, but our athletic teams are killing it this year. Now to Carlo and Jacob who got a special insight on the Lady Lions. This is Carlo Basile and today I'm here with some of the volleyball members on our Lady Lions varsity volleyball team. We're going to talk about today and the recent successes during this season. So Annie, you both were just named 2019 North Broward Prep All Tournament. How does that feel and how do you plan on to, you know, work off that going into this rest of the season? Well, it was like a very big honor for both of us. Um, that tournament was a great like tournament to like show like our skills and like what we can do this year. And we have Oxbridge and Benjamin coming up next week. We have to like get prepared for those. And now Olivia, you being the youngest one here, how do you step up and try and fill that leadership role and really just let your encouragement shine to your teammates on the court? I just try to be really positive and like tell everyone like I believe in them all the time and that it doesn't matter like our age because um, like we're so young but like we all have like the talent to like go really far so like just believing in everyone. And now Kiara, you were uh, you had an ACL injury yes. during your, your playing career yeah. and then how, how did you bounce back from that injury and to become the player you are well, today? Well, I think you just have to have a positive mentality and just come back stronger through physical therapy. All right, awesome. This has been Carla Basile reporting for Kings TV. On a completely different side of the spectrum, Kings TV is bringing back a fan favorite segment from last season. Now onto everyone's favorite Bob Ross impersonator, Jacob Rinker. Uh, how long have you been teaching art and why do you enjoy so much? Oh my goodness, I have been teaching art off and on since 1989. I know I'm old, Bob. I'm older than you, Bob. Wow, that's yeah. pretty, it's a long time. It's a long time, Bob. Now, what would you say your favorite milestones are? Um, I was very blessed that God got me into, and he got me into the Rhode Island School of Design. It's an awesome art school. And because of that, my work later on in life has been in Home Magazine, HDTV, Similar TV station like you've been That's on. Right, I yeah. know, it's TV, really cool. Yeah. We've both been TV, on TV yeah. together, yeah. Bob. For, for my students, yeah. when they've gotten into top art schools like RISD and Pratt and Parsons and all those, and SCAD, I love it when they get into really good art schools because they're so excited. As a teacher, mm -hmm. what would you say that the most important thing to leave behind for your students is? There's two things. I want to make sure that they understand that everything in the world. God created, but that artists are created in the image of God. So if my students can go out in the world and know that the house, the car, the video games, is all made by an artist, that that's really cool, is number one. Yeah. Number two, that they have 
the power as artists to really change the world. They can change what people wear, what people think, how people respond, and if they do so in a Christian component, they have the impact to really make a change in the world through the art. Well, before we go, would you like to have a little painting competition? Oh yeah, Bob, I'm ready. Thank you, Jacob, for that very special presentation. Once again, I'm Lindsay Richardson. And I'm Bailey Durkin. Reporting, reporting for Kings TV. TV. And always remember, kids, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. And, and have, have a great, great day, TKA.